All right, so first I'm gonna install the landing gear. For that, you're gonna need four M3 by 14 millimeter machine screws with lock washers and washers. I put a little blue Loctite on the tip of each screw. All right, next we're gonna move on to the tail wheel assembly. We're gonna take the tail mount, drop that down inside the fuselage. Now that's done, you'll slide the tail wheel assembly through, a little carbon fiber piece there. And this back part is what's gonna go through the rudder so that you can move this. It's got some little screws here, so we're gonna lock tight these on. All right, so next we're gonna build our horizontal stab and elevator. So you're gonna slide this open and pull out this pin here. This is what holds the elevator to the stabilizer. Let's simply pull that one out. Go on the other side, same thing, pull that pin out. That releases your stabilizers. Then once you're back here, put in your wing tube. Okay, now that we have the stabilizer halves together here, we're gonna take four M3 by eight machine screws with washers. All right, stabilizers secure. Now we go back to our various generous size elevator here. I'm gonna slide this. All right, get it lined up, get the bevel. The pin's gonna go through all the holes. Okay, so once the pins are back through, slide the cover closed and snug up that screw. If you wanted to, you could put on a little adhesive there so that it doesn't slide at all, but I just snugged it up. I don't think it's going anywhere. And there you go, elevator is installed. Okay, moving on to the rudder portion. You're going to want to grab your rudder and your locking pin. So simply line the rudder up with the guide from the tail wheel. Slide it over the three hinges. From the bottom of the rudder, just like we did with our stabilizer halves, we're going to insert the pin. All right, next we are gonna install our push rod material uh, assemblies. We've got some M2 by 12 screws as well as some nylon lock washers. So we're gonna simply thread this over here. All right, next up, we're applying the prop adapter on the Avian motor. Get your 2.5 hex driver, some Loctite. Next, we're gonna install the front cowl. Take the last of your four M3 by eight millimeter Phillips screws and washers. And you're simply going to line up your cowl and install your hardware. Okay, so if you bought the bind and fly version, that's pretty much the assembly. Maybe it took about 10, 15 minutes uh, if I was off camera. 
So next we're going to bind the model. This has a smart file built into it. Again, I'll be flying this with my 6S 4000 millimeter packs. I'm going to set that right there. I do have the prop and spinner off for this just for safety. Anytime I'm setting up a new model, take off the rotor blades, take off the propeller, protect yourself, protect your hobby room. So we are going to go into the radio and we're just going to grab a new model and we're going to choose an acro model. Create model. Once we have created our acro model, we're simply going to go down to bind. We're going to plug in our model. Hitting the bind button on our AR637TA it is now flashing. I'm now going to click on bind. It's going to ask me if I want to load a preloaded software. Auto configure. Right there, do you want to load this file? Yes, I want. you can skip it and do your own setup, or in this case, I want to bind this thing and go fly. So I'm going to load the smart file. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. Let's go. I want to fly. That's it. It's got everything in there. It's got your dual rates all set up on whatever switch. They have it from the factory. I'll probably go through, change my own switches. All right, this model is set up with one servo set up for the aileron. But you can simply take that out and plug into separate channels if you want to control each one separately. So install the wing, you're going to slide in your wing tube, slide your servo wire through the fuselage. The wing goes in and then the keeper locks it right in. And come over here, plug in the aileron servo. the same with the other wing. To install the, the side force generators, simply go over the thumb screws, slide back, Done. You choose to fly with or without the side force generators. All right, guys. Erratix 3D SWS 1.6 meter 6S 64 inch balsawood acrobatic plane from E-Flight. Let's go out and get some flights on this. I am super excited. Let's go have some fun.